Hey, welcome to the My Life Tool channel here. Uh, as promised, I, well I didn't promise you, but I told you, and I like to be a man of my word, but I got a piece of walnut here. I want to uh, turn down into the same copy that I just made uh, the cherry out of a little bit earlier, which was right here. Did a really nice finish with very little sanding. You did me, you see me do that uh, live while uh, you were watching me. So we're going to try the same thing here on uh, walnut. I just want to get a comparison use the same shape so I'm looking at the same beast here. So first thing we're going to do is go ahead and uh, round this down a little bit. It's kind of a big piece. I'm going to, I'm going to take it right down to where we're not using uh, my lathe tool uh, freestyle. It's just too super heavy. Tell you what, this walnut to me seems a little more, uh, a little more abrasive really dry. I suppose if you had a greener, uh, greener walnut, it might not it might be so bad, but my lace will freak out. Of course, I have the carbide tip, so it's going to cut it either way, but let's start with a pretty nice cylinder. One, two, watch your eyes. Yeah, I always say that. You feel that right down. What I can do is look uh, look right down. I can kind of see my shape in there. I'm gonna take this down a little bit farther because I know it goes down there. It lights up and it goes down again. It's helping out with a little bit. You don't have to go too nuts on that. Let's see how uh, my late tool freestyle does. So I love the way I can uh, use my uh, my tool rest here. I can uh, it can come and go as I please. And uh, I don't have a big tear down and set back up when it comes to uh, duplicating some spindles, uh, which uh, I really like because uh, if I'm making spinning wheels or something like that, I got a lot of different sizes, a lot of different lengths, and uh, it's just really handy to where I can, uh, I'm not tearing down and setting up all the time and not doing my work. This way it's very minimal, concentrating on my work. I ain't gonna lie to you, this piece has a small crack in it, and uh, I'm gonna be ginger about it because I don't want to waste this wood. I know it's got a crack in it, but it's a beautiful piece of walnut. In my mind, it still has purpose, so I'm gonna be real careful though. I don't want to hurt myself. I think we're gonna be all right. It looks like it's working out pretty good, so I'm just gonna take a careful. I'm not going to get too aggressive, you know I can. I'm going to follow that master down there. Yeah. Walnut cuts nice. Give that little puff, keep that cleared out. I'm going to take two passes here. I could probably do this in one pass. Get everything smoking and carrying on, but I'm doing pretty good right now. If you look, I'm I'm probably getting, uh, yeah, quarter inch front to back, so maybe a little less than a half inch there. I can live with that. I don't want to get in too big a hurry. I like doing woodworking, and I don't want to get done too fast. But the other, the other hand, I don't want to. Take too long. There, I just lost a piece. Look at that a little bit. Let's continue on with this shape. Does a beautiful job. Fill that right out. Yeah, I think uh, I think we lost a chunk right there, but I'm going to go ahead and just show you how this cuts. Let me look at it real quick. Yeah, yeah, we, we lost a piece right there, but we're still firm in. I'm going to go ahead and finish out just so I can show you how this thing performs with walnut because I don't want to waste another piece of walnut. And I'm feeling that we're going to be okay with that. That was where the split was at. It's gone now. Let's continue on. Some days you gotta push through. I'm, I know I'm being safe, so I'm gonna do this in two passes. But I gotta, I gotta go pretty deep here. I'm gonna take out 
pretty goodly amount. We're going to continue on. Come back here, I'm going to go deep. Clear that. Made in one little puff will take care of it. I'm giving a lot of side pressure here as you can see. I'm feeling this right off. I'm in control. Uh, when you're pushing laterally like this, you're not gonna get a lot of you're not gonna get a lot of vibration. But I'm not pushing in, I'm pushing towards the headstock, which is uh, a lot better way to go than if I'm uh, back here and I just keep stabbing it, going in and out, in and out. Uh, I try to get a good cut going, I'm kind of sticking with it because uh, that tends to, well, it just does better. You can see it's, uh, you get a nice ribbony effect. I got, I got a mountain of ribbons here off the camera. Just crazy. And uh, coming off of this walnut, I'm glad I didn't waste this piece. I'm going to go ahead and do my light cut. I can hold it towards the bottom now because I'm not going to have to worry about a lot of resonance frequencies coming up. I don't know if that's a word or not, but I kind of like it. Resonance frequency. Let's just call, let's just call vibration if we don't like. There we are. There's my master. Coming out from underneath all them wood chips. Just cutting light now. Follow through. Of course, I'm reaching that place where it's busted out. It won't really matter with my lathe tool freestyle, but I just want to finish what I'm doing here. Let's see what that looks like before sanding. Yeah, that doesn't look too bad. It's a little hairy, but not uh, not in the worst of shape. White sanding ought to take care of that. We got some 150 here. Almost stay away from that broken, broken section. We don't need to. We don't need to worry this piece of wood. That didn't take too long, did it? Whoa! There's my, oh, it's a hundred grit. My bad. I thought it was 150. That'll work. I'm not pressing very hard, otherwise I'll be feeling some heat, and I'm not, so that's a good deal. Get right in here a little bit. Right there, the little line. You can kind of see the line melt away. It's not taking me too long here. It takes me about as long, a little less time to sand than it does to cut it which I'm thankful. I used to spend a lot of time uh, working on diameters and make sure everything's just perfect and everything. And uh, with my lathe tool freestyle, guess what? Yeah, I can knock that out pretty quick. That doesn't look too bad. It actually looks really good. I'm happy with that. And that's what it's all about. Are you happy with what you're working with? I'm going to try to get a little closer there. Yeah, that's good stuff right there. Well, that's about it. I hope uh, you found this uh, informative, and uh, please tune in again for my next installment, and I think next time we'll try something a little bit longer. So, uh, thanks again, and uh, stop by my Lathe Tool channel, and checking out the uh, My Lathe Tool Freestyle.